This year, they're working together to bring the Art of the Gift event to the Magic Valley. Oh, it's so pretty. The event gathers art created by local artists and gives the artists a space to sell their pieces. This year, works from CSI will be up for sale as well. For the art to be out, but it's also uh, showing what we are doing at the CSI. So that piece, uh, the so many students' pieces will be displaying and selling. CSI would usually have their own art sale called Magic Mud, but this year it was canceled because of COVID-19. That's when the Magic Valley Arts Council stepped in. Well, that's what community does, right? You help each other out. So when we saw that the Magic Mud event was going to be canceled, we we had to do something to help them out. 75% of the sales from the CSI pieces goes back to the artist. The other 25% helps fund the CSI art program. We will be able to use those uh, fund to uh, invite the artist, guest artist, or going to visit for galleries. Organizers say even if the art doesn't sell, it's validating for a lot of artists to see their work displayed. Of course, the desire is always to sell their works, but even to be able to express to the artists how much people appreciate their art when it when it didn't sell or to share those stories about how much it meant to people to be able to just enjoy it it's it's just really nice to get to see and experience the art. The event runs until January 8th on the second floor of the building that has Elevation 486. That's the Full Moon Art Gallery. If you're interested in more information, we'll have it for you on our website. Just head to ksawtv.com. In Twin Falls, Natasha Williams, Idaho News 6.